Absolutely. Here's a rewritten version of your 700-word YouTube script for the video, Why Caterpillar Chose Construction Over Trucking. Follow the money. Using different wording while maintaining the same meaning, tone, structure, and flow. Complete with urgency triggers, humor, cliffhangers, and seamless transitions. Have you ever stopped to think, why didn't Caterpillar, one of the biggest industrial names on the planet, jump full force into the trucking business? I mean, they've got the engines, the tech, the muscle, everything. So why isn't Caterpillar out there rolling down the highways and big rigs? Let's track the cash, because every smart move in business boils down to one thing, money. And Caterpillar made a move that most people missed, but it paid off in billions. Here's what's wild. Caterpillar could have been a dominant force in trucking. Back in the day, they were already manufacturing powerful diesel engines used in long-haul trucks. So why didn't they take it further? Launch their own trucks, go head-to-head -head with Kenworth, Freightliner, or Peterbilt. Simple. They had a better idea. They bet big on construction. Not flashy, not fast, but steady, government-backed, and insanely profitable. Let's rewind. Post-World War to America. Roads were being paved, cities were sprouting, suburbs were exploding. The real money wasn't in hauling freight. It was in building the nation itself. And Caterpillar saw the writing on the wall. While other companies were chasing loads across state lines, Caterpillar was staking its claim on construction sites from coast to coast. Dirt, concrete, steel, this was their kingdom. Now here's where it gets strategic. Selling a truck might land you a nice chunk of change once. But a massive earth mover? That's a 20-year relationship. That machine will need repairs, replacement parts, maintenance. And Caterpillar would be the one providing all of it. That's called repeat revenue, and it's gold. They weren't just selling machines. They were building a business model that kept customers coming back again and again, locked into the CAT ecosystem. And just when you think Caterpillar was steering clear of trucking, guess what? They actually leaned into it for a while. Their diesel engines powered many highway trucks throughout the 90s and early 2000s. But then 2008 hit, and Caterpillar hit the brakes. Why? New emission standards. The Environmental Protection Agency rolled out stricter regulations on diesel engines. Meeting these would have cost Caterpillar a fortune in our backslash and D in compliance. Instead of burning cash just to keep up, they said, you know what? We're out. Let me put it this way. If you're dominating the construction world with solid margins, why would you gamble at all to fight over scraps in a crowded trucking market? And the competition was brutal. Lower profit margins, tighter regulations, and fierce rivals who lived and breathed trucks. Caterpillar had the vision to walk away from a game they could have played, but wisely chose not to. Here's a curveball for you. Trucks wear out. They get replaced every few years. But construction machines? They live long, hard lives, and Caterpillar loves that. Because a longer lifespan means more parts sold, more maintenance contracts, more money. Now fast forward to today. Caterpillar didn't just survive. They thrived. In 2023, their construction division raked in over $27 billion. That's not just good, it's dominance. And while the world's been watching Tesla try to automate long-haul trucking, Caterpillar has been quietly revolutionizing entire job sites. We're talking AI-guided excavators, remotely operated dozers, machines that don't need coffee breaks or paychecks. So yeah, they didn't need to conquer the highway. They're out here building the future. But wait, does that mean they completely bailed on trucking? Not exactly. They still make engines for off-road vehicles, massive mining trucks, and defense applications. But mainstream highway trucking? They've left that lane behind. Which leads us to the real twist. Caterpillar's next big play isn't in traditional vehicles at all. It's in automation. They're leading a quiet revolution in autonomous construction, mining, and even energy systems. Their machines aren't just tools anymore. They're part of an intelligent, connected network reshaping entire industries. So here's the takeaway. Caterpillar didn't just choose construction over trucking. They saw a future others missed, and they bet on it early. The result? They're not just building machines. They're building the backbone of the modern world. And here's where things get even more interesting. In our next episode, 
We'll uncover Caterpillar's silent takeover of the mining sector and how they're positioning themselves to control the flow of critical resources in a world that runs on minerals. You won't want to miss that. Would you like a version that includes scene or B-roll suggestions for video editing?